friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously. Lethal! <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. A mother superior must have straightened them up as usual. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls. But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Okay, okay. I just hope you don't miss something while playing. All I'm asking is that you take a look inside that green satchel. I'll take care of it, as long as you leave us alone after. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, uh, no. It's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. See you soon.
万歳！I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise, I, I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. See you around. Why do I have such an idiot player? Please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. Some spaghetti, leftover chicken, a cereal box, and a couple empty liquor bottles. This one has it all. Baby. Musty, but I'll make the effort. Ah, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometimes be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another related circumstance where you show your negligence. But thanks for the tip. Back in my day, the screws were tight clockwise.
A little too heavy, don't you think? There's still some gas in it if one day you ever decide to follow in the footsteps of my grandpa. Let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. Once again, physics is against me. A dusty beer mug. Cheers! Where that door led, and for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. taken enough. It could even work, if it weren't so idiotic. It's a sort of big ball of dust. I found the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah. Uh... Okay.
Sounds more threatening already, right? I should turn it on first. wardrobe. I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. disaster I made with some apricot marmalade years ago. I never understood how Ronald's parents could think it was Sigmund Freud's face. Ah! Man, what an epic fail. I absolutely need the help of someone stronger than me. I've got no other choice. Not so strong after all. What are you talking about? Don't you see I'm a beast? It doesn't seem that way to me. Test me then. Okay. In the room next door, there's a bed. I bet you won't be able to unscrew one of the knobs. It'll be child's play. Is this the knob? It's not a crystal ball, that's for sure. Uh... I don't get it. Yes, that's the one. It's up to me and you now, Nob. Coming. Open your jaws and no funny business. It's so liberating, kind of like when I escaped from prison. I don't know if you're being serious or you're just spectacularly trolling. We'll never find out.
you long enough, hmm? And where did you pop up from? This van is a wreck. I got out through a hole hidden in the floor. Is there a way to get in from under there? Negative, dude. My head may be huge, but nowhere near like yours. How about taking a ride with me? All aboard! When you use nice manners, you get everything you want, Nut. For a moment, I assumed the worst. We need to celebrate. Take this. How the hell often do I have to tell you I'm allergic? It's a damned nut! Do you even have eyes in those sockets? Something stinks here. It wasn't me. I mean, where the hell did those two go? I'll get out. I have to check. <laughs> 